Hey, this is Pastor Michael Yurisha, and I want to invite you to hit that like and subscribe button and drop us a comment if you will. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you receive all of our updates. God bless you. Come on, let's get to the Word. All right, now let me give you some good news. Somebody say amen. Because how many of you know the gospel is a good news? Amen. It can be quite depressing when you're going through all this stuff in the world. But we still have to look at it with open eyes. Understand, let's not be like the ostrich, put our head in the sand and bury ourselves. Watch now, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Remember, this is right after Paul's talking about the rapture. He says, now, brothers and sisters, about the times and dates, we do not need to write you. For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction, watch, will come on who? On them. Suddenly, as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and watch, and they will not escape. Verse 4, but you, look at your neighbor, say, but you, this is talking about you, my brother and my sister, you are not in darkness, so this day should not surprise you like a thief. Why? Because we study, we pray, and we watch. Hit the repeat button. <laughs> we study, we pray, and we watch. That needs to be our life cycle. So, but you, brothers and sisters, you are not in darkness, so this day should surprise you like the thief. Why? Because you are children of the light and children of the day. Come on, somebody, thank God. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then, let us not be like the others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night. Those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. Here it is, verse 9. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody in the house of Judah, give glory to God Almighty. Hey! For a post-tribulation rapture, if we wouldn't get raptured until Revelation 19, then the church would suffer seven years of wrath. The church is not appointed to suffer wrath. Persecution? Yes. Wrath? No. Judgment? No. Our sins were judged at the foot of the cross, somebody. Luke 21, verses 34 and 36. Ah. Be careful. Or your hearts will be weighed down with carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of life. So be careful, saints of God. Don't get caught up in the worldly things. You'll get caught up, and that day, this is talking about, the rapture will close on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come on, here it is, all who live on the face of the whole earth. Be always on the watch and pray that you, don't miss this, that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Once again, if we don't get raptured into Revelation 19, we didn't escape anything. But Jesus says we can escape all. Somebody shout all. All that is about to happen. Not half of it, all of it. Last scripture, Revelation 3 and 10. Since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come on the whole world to test who? The inhabitants of the earth, not the church. Nowhere is the church 
tested. Nowhere is the church found in Revelation 6 through 19. Some say that the seven-year tribulation is to purify and to cleanse the church. Well, let me ask this question. What kind of a groom huh, would drag his wife through seven years of hell just to make sure that she's faithful? Not my groom. Hey, this is Pastor Michael Yurisha, and I hope you enjoyed today's short word. Now, you can help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ all over the earth by simply hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And last but not least, share this message with all your friends and family. Well, God bless you, and Maranatha, Jesus Christ is coming soon. To proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ To every nation, every generation To all creation to proclaim